I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg. So be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Oh, we have all the fun to persist. Damn. Awesome. Which uh, affects all of like applications like Modo. Which there's probably not many. I have not seen many Modo like applications in my life. Like the ones that install like that. Do you like enable animations chat? Maybe you can play with enable animations if it's like more pleasant when the cards actually move through the zones. I always had it off because you know, I just did. Yeah, I also does disable that all the time, but I was wondering if if maybe you prefer it this way. I'll cycle Oliphant. So Ren. It's a Ren deck. I think it's also a Bolt deck. I'm annoyed by the animations. Let's turn them off. Let's draw another land. Sure, why not? Persistent Oliphant. It's weak against the fairy. It's really weak against the fairy. Mm, kinda. It's really weak against Bolt. Kinda. I mean, I'm not playing... You know... I'm not playing Oliphant to not do that, but I would have preferred a troll for, for toughness. Still would get pinged plus bolted, but... Mountain, good, good. Prismari, deal 2, make treasure, okay. And pinkster, okay. So now we go Voidwalker into Fortsizer. Kinda want Fortsizer in Voidwalker because of Spell Pierce, maybe. It doesn't let me do the like Voidwalker steal, but I guess. Good, good. Interesting. So Prismari command kills Voidwalker. Do I play Voidwalker now? Which I could not. I could play Bowmasters, but I think hmm. Command also loots their lands away. Yeah, which is worse than iterationing because iteration is also plus plus cards, but it's like plus real cards. They get to keep the lands. They will fury the Ren. There's gonna be no Ren. It's a really tough decision. It's not, it's not plus cards. I will kill Ren. There's not gonna be any Ren in, ch in the chat anymore. Chat. This is dead. This is dead. This dies. This dies now. Unless I take Prismari command and I leave them with iteration, maybe I don't kill Ren, but I think I do. Hmm. Actually, yeah, the Terminate is not gonna resolve through Pierce anyways. With like Bowmasters. Oh. Hmm. Probably keep Voidoker in play, take Prismari. If they hit a removal, then I would have preferred to take an iteration, though. Alright, let's take the better card. Let's take the better card. down like 10,000 cards on this run, but it's fine, it's good. I have one dwarf covert with bowmeisters. Create a treasure, bad sign. No place, haha. <laughs> this is awkward. Do you think a witch's technology witch's cottage technology is crazy? Mm, sounds interesting. Might be cool. Do you play zero cleaves then? Reman opponent with some hit cards. This is blue red plus ren. They don't play their fairy. The industrial revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. I think we live in like probably the best time to be living. It's pretty hard to argue that there was a better time to be alive in the human history, so it's a weird statement to make like Sure, there are tough things about life, but it's just... 
Best time was 2000s. Not now. Well, I mean, it's like, well, 20 years is nothing. Social media climate is negative, sure. I mean, all things considered, that's just such a... Literally definition of first world problem. The best time was 2001 when the Bionicles released, yeah. We might have just had our most cool summer ever going forward, sure. Couple through the breaches in that pile. Did, we, did they reveal any? I didn't actually take a look at the revealed cards, but yeah, there is a through the breach in the revealed cards. Interesting. He's a phenomenal control Thank you, player. homie Chufka. I don't like Blood Moons much. No, I couldn't house 12. <laughs> uh, what do we sideboard? Fury scam seems nice against them. We had a troll on turn 2 instead of Oliphon, we probably win because... They were able to kill the Oliphon, but not the troll, so... He strike against Oliphon. Dzień dobry, panie Kanie, serdecznie miłego wtorku, no dziękuweczka. Okay, random sideboarding. When trying out this version, I was cutting post persist post board 90% of the time since they bring grave hate anyways. I don't think creativity will bring any grave hate against me. But in general, this is four lander, two forces, fine death. Mool, probably. Keep. Czy to jest lista z Perzis? No, jak kurwa myślisz, no? Czytając tytuł i widząc te moje olifanty w deku, to jest czy nie? Jest, jest. Nie, nie czytałem, no widzę, widzę. Yes, I play Persist. Can we do a poll? On what? Whether life was better when you were seven or now when you're grown up? <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, it's impossible to tell them because you were seven. You can't say objectively. Missing red cards. Where are my old phones now? Whoa, a card draw spell? Hi, Kanye. Glad you're alive. Thanks. Oh, wow. You want to use Ren? You would have a wife if Twitter didn't exist. I mean, it is also, I think, unfair to pretend like society doesn't change in ways. For sure it does, it certainly does. Sometimes like some aspects are just hard. Or different. Nowadays, All right, I would like to fury those two monsters. Mm, works. Mm. 
It's very sad that only one viewer is glad you are alive. <laughs> yes. They draw cards off of iteration and no bow master trigger dot 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 bug spacebar question mark. Yeah. Let's persist the fury. I think. Tell <laughs> her I earned 300. <laughs> 1k. Oh, those wives. That's, that was a funny comment. I will die to your creativity, probably. How's my magic detox going? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I've not been fully slacking. I work periodically on the YouTube videos. I'm just hellishly slow at editing, but it's been fun and I've been progressing. So new video on Thursday, I suspect. Oh, we won. No creativity. Good. And, uh, no, soon TM, this, actually, this time actually for real, like it's almost done, just I was working on it at 2am yesterday and I was wondering if I want to keep going or go to sleep and I decided to go to sleep at 2. It's like, yeah, that's good enough for today. Is there a girl that you're trying to raise? I, yeah. There's a new Miss Cannister I started dating a few weeks ago and it's been going extremely nice. So... Also, what I've been focusing on instead of playing cards lately a little bit. Which is also like a part of the reason why less streams. It's pretty... I don't know. Explosives, I think, kind of sucks. So let's just play one. What's her name? I'll... I don't know if I will share it on Twitch.tv yet, but... Can let you know in private. Well, this has no land, so I'll move again. Do you take her to F and M's? No. Hmm. Nice hand, but has no lands, which is an issue. This is a turn one griefster, so we keep. Put back bolts, Fabua, I guess. Does she like magic? Uh, she wasn't familiar with the game of magics. Alright, let's go. Whoops. Can you both fit in a rowboat together? What's a rowboat? Kayak? What kind of question is that? Probably. You think you're more witty in Polish than in English? <laughs> it's just that, like... Is that an insult? Or, like... A so-called dig? I don't know. It was an honest question. Okay, yeah. Uh... It is easier for me to assemble wordplay and jokes of like various quality when I talk in Polish. So, presumably, yeah. Okay, I don't think we're winning this one. We'll go to five, get veiled, get bolted, draw swamp. Cool. Kaniki is very funny IRL in Polish, yeah. Well, like, at our FNMs, Jendrek tends to tell me whenever I say something, you know, like, I attempt a joke, Jendrek tells me that it's the funniest thing that he has ever heard in his life. But he also says that in a sarcastic tone, so it's pretty hard for me to decipher, but... He's a phenomenal... For the most part, player. women I met tell me I have a funny 
and witty sense of humor, so it's good enough for me. How much do you curva IRL? Not too much. As for rhinos, which build would you prefer right now? Timur or four color? I never play rhinos. So it's gonna get pinged anyways. And I'm I'm gonna get velts too, so. Swoman more important than Chad. If Chad tells you, do you just ignore it? No, I don't ignore it, but I was like just citing the experience with Yendrik specifically. <laughs> Chat I appreciate. When Chat says canny funny, then that's also good because literally my my job here is to be funny, so I try. Thank you, Sand Nutritious. It's very nice that you said that. Where did I meet Miss Canister? I used a dating application, Tinder. I can't... I don't have other ways, or rather can't think of any other ways to meet new people in my life since on my daily on daily basis I sit at home and play card games, so it's kinda hard. What about joining a sports group such as climbing? That could possibly be a way, yeah. I got smashed. Mool to five into well was rough. Should have also scammed game one, which we failed to do. Ah, uh, rough. But I guess if we hit them with Ragavan, we can turn to roll. Anyway, so probably play turn one Ragavan. Yeah, I'll just play turn one Ragavan. It's, it's good, it's good, it's good, my friends. A great cave troll, I think. There is no hope of escape that way, says says Gandalfos. Yeah, Gandalfos, no chance of escaping from my troll. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Why would Gandalf said that? Say that? It's a good question. I don't know. What a stupid thing to say, Gandalfos. What a grave. There is no escape. <laughs> so if it's blue black, I don't want to play my bow masses first. So I'll cycle the trollos right now. I mean I pass, I guess, and then I see what I do. Maybe I don't know, maybe I play bow masters end of turn. If they play their bow masters right now, then I go persist troll. Actually. I just play bow masters, I convince myself. Skawa to jednak na gitarce potrafi, no. Skawa jak daje, czadu. <laughs> Skawa daje czadu. Okay, if they just pass, I pass to don't wait, don't wait to play. No reason to play into counter spell. O się chłop da wypierdolić teraz, ja pierdzielę. Zostaniesz wyjebany po całości. Now I fall now, yes, Seems good enough to flash an extra one right now. Ping the last one. And blue black will struggle to deal with this board. And it's not like ring is gonna be super great on four for them. And we can play the troll of Casa Doom next turn. Kinda, I don't know why they wait. I mean, I get why they waited, but they just really get punished for waiting. He's a phenomenal control player. Could dash Ragavan if they have their bowmasters right now. That seems not the best. So I'll attack, see if they make a move. 
Kurde, byku, dzięki za suba, 4 monws. Worst case I get damnation, but it's rare to play it main deck, so I assume I won't. See the one cock ring, that's fine. Good draw, relevant card. Sometimes you just need a Colossal Dreadmo. It's a 5-4 Triple Menace. It's not a Colossal Dreadmo, please. I refer to it correctly. Yeah, you can always ping the Orc Army. You can ping yourself if you want to make the amass not fizzleable by removal. But for the most part it's it's pretty hard for that to matter. A lot has to happen. Another ring, cool. Cool beans. Why didn't they draw in their turn? Yeah, they probably should have. Doesn't matter much though. If you're pinging one one army, does the army live? Yes. It emit like it takes one damage, then it grows by one, then it... Only then it... Uh, you know... State based actions are checked. Should have probably upkeep played Bowmaster? I don't know. Probably, yeah. But also, I don't think it's gonna matter. The upside is that I guess I play it. Hmm. And well, it's like they're out to survive is, is counter spell on the ring. So I guess they draw a card so they might have counter spell. Active player, non active player. Active player, non active player. Okay. Active player, non-active player. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I mean, sure. Not like they could redo really anything, so... Should I have Turak? My deck. Should have Kroxa for sure. Turak has one toughness. I don't think that's good. Protection, ring, no. I'll have the Moonster. I don't have any, any ring removal. Maybe I should. Somehow I have zero. Like no needle, no cast into the fire, so. Here maybe I could trim trim a persist, although they actually have trouble killing a creature like this, so your ring removal is bow masters. Yeah I know, I know. Oh one cringe. You should have seen my opponents what they did. Keep terminate for Joldred. One maybe or two. Tricks are good because the removal is pushes. Did I lost the mirror? I lost to Creativity. I guess I'll cut two Furies, maybe. In turn one Fury. Turn one Fury is pretty hard, pretty rough to do into false of Negation subtlety deck. Is it crazy to side up Dragovans on the draw? It's not crazy, but I think they're like... I need to be proactive in this, in this matchup too much. And... Like I'm equipped to handle their bowmasters. I can use my tricks on my ragavans and I can have my own bowmasters. So. so I wouldn't say it's crazy, but why would you side out cheap spells on the draw? Well, because if you play turn one ragavan and they play bowmasters, you're getting destroyed. But besides that, like I think it's a fair reason. I just don't, I don't actively want to board out ragavans, and I think going for a fury scam is. From my experience playing blue black it seems very inconsistent. 
it's effective when it's gonna work out, but sometimes it's gonna get champed by Bowmaster to for two turns if that's all you've got. If you get subbed or force of negation on the uh, fine death, you're down so many cards, you're down bad and you can't do anything. <coughs> you just have to play be careful with the Ragavan if possible. Also don't think the blue black matchup is great. And you need to be aggressive. So keeping Ragavan gives you leaves you with outs to win. I think. Scum does the most broken thing in modern. Turn one pretty consistently, okay. It's so broken, bros. You just like wow what a hand. Mm. Well, I mean, actually, it's a hand. Let's leave them with Damnation and Shouldreds, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's take the One Ring. Let's take the One Ring. Too bad I didn't leave the Fotsis for after Voidwalker, but I don't think it's reasonable to do that like this. So, I'm wrong. Sure. Yeah, you're wrong, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, it's... Clearly prejudice towards the scam deck. I clearly don't like it. That is that is clear from your message, and I don't know if you're right or not. But I ha I have an aversion towards bitching about cards in my chat, which I know many like to do that. If that's your jam, that's fine. That's my position. Roughly speaking. Alright, Fable, Fable. Hmm. You have a swamp in hand? But I can't cast the double blocks. It's pretty good. Of course my opponent will play a ring now of the top or from preorden. But if they don't, then it's good. Should have played an, an extra delta, huh? I don't know if they play two swamps actually. Do I like the blue black deck? It's fun. I don't think it's super good. So I guess like, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. We drew a card, good. It's like it's pretty cool, like it's it's strong in some ways, but it also has notable weaknesses and it's like cannot solve every permanent type on board, which I think it's pretty, pretty fun to exist because it also, oops, it also like can win through like things like the One Ring, Moon, Enchantments, etc. Often by just card advantage and tilting slightly towards aggression, which is also I think really cool. So I like it a lot actually in the game designer sense. I would say. I probably should have played it mm. immediately. Rough. Should have played it in response to the deal damage trigger, I think. Maybe not. Ah, it was good. It was good the way I played it, but Stern's calling is just OP. Ragavine trick. Point has uh, no delta. Damnation shouldered in hand. Let's see if Bowmeisters. No Bowmeisters. Good, good. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's hit some shouldered of their deck then. Ottawara Soaring City. Well, that's nice. Ottawara would be a fury answer. I think I can keep the plus in my in hand. If I draw Fable. Unlikely to matter, but why is the archetype called scam? Historians uh, disagree and discuss that case thoroughly. Many will say, tell you that the definition is of that, that because you scam your opponent out of the game, but the origin is actually slightly different, it's because the first time this deck was known, got known and was posted on the internet, 
it was posted by uh, Pascal Maynard, who fought the daggers kind of weak, and he was scamming people into trying it out. But he was playing it regardless because he personally had some success. It's better to attack fast into subtlety, but only slightly, so... I think we should... I don't have enough... Uh, I, I just have to take actions. Is this true or you're making shit up? No, it's true. You can find the like original scam tweet if you look. It's on the internet. Everything is on the internet. R34, yeah, exactly. Yes, everything. Even Kyora, Tides, Fury, R34. Hentai Fetish MK2, Commander EDH deck. What the fuck? Architect.com. Kyora, Sovereign of the Deep. All the behemoths and krakens. With tentacles. With some like mana, high tide. Kyora theme deck. Playing soccer. Kyora master of depths, okay. <laughs> this music taste of your future wife also findable on the internet. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably findable. Dash. No, no, nie dash, nie dash. Dash Sashana. They, they take free damage. Maybe. Gain control of target non-land permanent with mana value one or less. I got hoisted by my own petard. Caramba. Charm for Moon. Yeah. Can I just confirm that the girl you're dating will be your future wife? It's too soon to know that. So I just accepted your remark and assumed it's uh, a playful, funny comment. Why not block and feign death? Because they two turn clock anyways for opponent. What block with what? I have I control no untapped creatures. So <laughs> just block. Simply blog, idiot. They discarded a counter spell to clean up, which probably means that they have more. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. You win. I would not attack. Sure, I mean, not attacking is... It's also like not victorious. I think I like the way we sideboarded. To terminate is kinda many, but it's pitchable for both Grief and Fury, so it's actually not. Let's submit. On the play we can turn to Thrall of Casa Doom and that's gonna be pretty good. Pretty rough threat for them to deal with. I I haven't seen a removal besides Damnation that deals with that. Sure, Blatchy Thirst can, can do that, that's true. But at that point, they are at roughly zero life points. Then, Aga Vinechik. Should juggle to the Olifantos. Probably Aga Vinechik. This is a very nice hand, a nice stream of threats, relevant threats. Yeah, I guess if Aga Vinechik hits, then we can go turn to Olifantos, so... Tapped, untapped, preorden. No shins as right, eh? Fatal push, no use. Mm. 
do firúž. I bo maj srap. Not to play into counter spell. And have a counter play against the Bomeister man. Let's spend mana. No Fotsis to get their bomb. Well, next turn I Fotsis. That's why we play the Bowmaster. Then we go Fotsis. You know, they had two mana up. They would The bomb would be Counterspell. Stern Scolding. Interesting. So let's begin with Persis. If that just resolves, I attack with Voidwalker. And I pass. If that gets spell pierced, then that gets spell pierced. Mm -hmm. Then I thought Sizer. And we see Shieldred and Subtlety. So I probably turn this Voidwalker into Shieldred. Right. Always stressful that you like somehow fail to cast because it seems like it's not getting cast. It's like Voidwalker lets you cast it this turn and it doesn't cast it immediately. Just make sure not to feign death the shoulder. It. So stressful, yeah. So stressful. It's not, of course, it's not that stressful, but... Excellent to join non-creature card to cast into subtlety. This hand played out very nicely, and I think Persis was okay. An opponent is in a pickle, they kind of want to spend mana on the subtlety now. Maybe they want to draw a domination instead. Domination still solid for them. Ring, not so much. It's not bad, for sure, but... They would go to 7, draw with ring, go to 5, five then take 1 from the ring, they'll go to 4. Can even activate a second time. Then take two in the next draw step, so... Shoulder it's Edict in the draw step. Okay, cool. So now we can play the Voidoker into Subtlety. Hmm. We have cool cards? No. Maybe I ditch Feign Death. Playing other Fables, but into a 3-3. Free -free. Probably want to play Voidwalker with Feign Death rather than Fable. Don't mind having a Fable in hand. Probably just keep cards, right? I was case they play Ring, so I guess drawing towards a Ring answer is also good. They go to 5, I attack them next turn. Just play Salty to block. Go to 3, maybe 2. Even Ring is gonna be kinda rough for them. If I play Voidwalker with Feign Death, I'm good against Domination top deck too. Maybe I want to discard Fable. I probably don't. I think I'll have like, even if they draw like Ring, they are in enough of a pickle. That's not great and I'm good against other draws. They could draw Ring. They draw Shouldered. Then Voidwalker is good against that because it outpaces the shouldered life gain. Here she is. More life. So I guess if they draw ring now, it'd be a bit tough. Poppy Duffy beats just ring. Why? Sure, that's well. How does Copy Duffy beat a ring exactly? I mean, the ring is gives you protection. I don't know if you if you knew that. Ah, oh, Priorin for game two. You can pierce the ring with a tapped Voidwalker chat. Did you know about like rules of this game? And go to six. Oh, 
Maybe they have a push. Gonna go to four. Have a damnation. <laughs> I mean, they have nothing, so that's good. Copy draw three. It's a great idea. I mean, I might, I actually might have a damnation first. So maybe it's actually a good idea. Take damnation. Copy Voidwalker. Attack with goblins. Feign death. Voidwalker. Probably. Or Fable. Damnation. Get back Voidwalker or Fable. He had four life versus a subtlety. So probably want to have Voidwalker in play. Shouldred is gonna be exiled, then I can replay Shouldred. Weak into subtlety. Wouldn't want that. It's probably better to do it on Fable. Well, I can draw free with Voidoker and Extern too, so Voidoker is probably better. Fable digs towards the subtlety answer. But so can, like, Voidoker will be able to cast a Lorien Reveal too. Could you attack with one of the Voidwalkers there? I could, but I would prefer to cast an extra spell. Actually, I can't save Voidwalker, right? Because I have to save Fable, okay. So that's not a decision. Because Voidwalker would come back before I get to cast the Damnation, so it doesn't, doesn't actually work. So we have to choose this, choose this, yep. Play Swamp, Pain, Reflection, Domination, Get Back Fable, Create Golbin, Draw Free, and Hardcast Grief. Good. Take the subtlety. They tap tapped Fable with plus one plus one counter on it, so. Alright, this worked out well. They can now draw the ring and win. Lorian reveals, that's better than like better for me than the ring, so good. We throw if we draw an untapped land, which is not a given. We troll by just attacking with the goblin. Four plus one. How much is it? Maybe I discard the troll. I discard the Foxies, I don't really want to take two. I can draw great cards like Bowmasters, like I discard the throw. Yeah, oh wow, those are nice. Foxies is kind of fine, yeah, but... I think it was fine to pitch two, so... Those two are great, great draws. It's possible they play three islands only. So playing a shoulder it seems not so bad right now. Even if counter spell loss is an option. Because I think I played three islands when I played this deck. They play four. Okay, then, then that's a nice counter spell loss. But still, we good, we're relatively good. And probably was no better time to deploy that shoulder. At. It's like five and sunken hollow. See, I played three, so I guess I tricked myself. One quok ring, no wiadomo kurba, że ma, nie? It's good, it's good, don't worry chat. We're gonna draw another bomb master right now. Voidwalker, fine. Pain. I don't know if I even play the Voidwalker. Probably. Against Damnation. Kinda dead against Damnation. Grief does nothing. No, Grief will do something. I'm I'm playing a Grief. I'm using the Grief in their Amn keep. So it's Amn keep, not draw steps. So they have less cards, and this is still on the stack. So if they want to draw in response, then they'll take one extra damage. And they have like unknown cards in hand. I like I will just be acting in the rap keep. I don't need to go there draw step. So yeah, you know, we see those cards, we take the turn scolding. And now I play Bowmeister. 
uh, if they want to draw the ring, they'll take two. So if they like just take that, if just if they just take it, they then then they take a draw step and it's damnation. And I think it's rough times for me. Not really. I can just malice uh, reflection or or grief. So I don't think they can really draw anything if Domination doesn't do I guess they can draw the ring, sure. Well, yeah, they can draw the ring to survive, but... Step Edict, Edict does nothing. Canister, I listened to the latest midweek meta game. I'm sorry, I promise never to bring up your ELO again. <laughs> I actually enjoy talking about ELO, and I like it being brought up, and I actually brought it up today immediately. Malus Bowmeister maybe, just like now, when my opponent has a fail push in hand so that they get an option to, to respond with the push to it. That sounds like literally the worst move I can make, so not a fun. <laughs> like I will Malice now once they play their push first, right? But that's kind of different and I think better. Now oh, the Bowmeister is in the graveyard, they can draw with the one ring, but they're still at one life and still comes back. No, after push, yes. After push, we're gonna respond with our combat trick. And they take one, should be dead. It was a pretty cool game. Pretty cool match. Back and forth. Actual nice Magic the Gathering gameplay happening. Root beer also sucks. Why would you want this? I like it. That's why I want it. Let's do this. And just turn to troll, attack them. Wow, nice end. What do I take? On the sweep spear? Or just wait for them to play the second sweep spear? Maybe take one drop. Take bolt. Yeah, take bolt. I'm gonna play second sweet spear, I'll sweep both. There's no way for them to have a spell then. And then persist throw next turn. And I have a follow-up Voidwalker which runs into the blaze, so maybe not even gonna play it. <sighs> have I ever tried a root beer float? Yes, I actually had it once. It was worse than a root beer with no float, so I didn't like that as much. Fetch Swarm because no reason to lose life. I hacking hate Kek Hands, it's the ugliest emote on Twitch. It doesn't even make sense, it's just like mindless combining of two emotes that doesn't even like what what state of mind, what emotion does it Express nothing. It's just annoying. Have I ever tried square beer? Yes. <clears throat> Have you? Haven't you? <laughs> no, drawing is fun at least. Or at least it's pleasant to look at. That thing is just just ugly. Root beer tastes like medicine to me. It does. It also tastes like toothpaste a little bit, but in a way that I found extremely enticing and I really got into that, so sometimes that's how it is. Am I a licorice enjoyer? I hate licorice. I can't stand it, so no. I want zero footsies. No, no, it is nice. Chalice. Very good comment. Not gonna play Chalice. It seems really bad to me, so. What about Anish? Not a fan. Ooh, punish, punished by trolls. Alright, I'll refund you. Alright, Mr. Chima will refund you. Refund you. Small gun. We have double Fury, put back Voidoka. Probably we could just remove the request a grand song option and just assume that chat grown up and is going to request uh, 
background responsibly. So I'll do that after I beat this burn gamer. Sounds unrealistic, yeah, a little bit. Let's keep bold. I'm ready for 27 grand songs in a row. Yeah, Durs Dursad is busy, so... Seemingly so. I sure hope my opponent doesn't play a second Sacred Foundry into a Sanctifier on Vec right now. That would be a shame. And I guess the same is true for Inspiring Vantage. Sanctifier. How how I hate that card. Buka. Dobra, dam wam jeść. Albo zaraz. I mean, Explosives is such an extremely unwieldy Sanctifier answer anyways, uh, that I don't think you're likely to ever, well, stake five, sure. You're all that likely to win a game where they actually do that. You actually, where we actually get to pop that, but I guess we can board them in. Block, Ragaban. All right, Path to Exile, let's go. You board it in Path, right? Right? I mean, Shodrat's Edict, yeah, is a solution to that. It's just that this card doesn't exist. Thankfully, they suspended a Rift Bolt after rolling Vortex, so they go to 8 life right now, which is actually fairly low. So maybe we can kill them with the Swift Spear and Ragavan, because the Sanctifier is committed to blocking Fury. Maybe they will suspend another one. When, when rolling Vortex deals 5 damage to you, it's more like trolling Vortex, right? Trolling Vortex. So good. This is exactly why women tell me my sense of humor is very funny and very good. Precisely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Seems they dead. Almost evoked grief, but stopped myself from that. I was like, ha, I get to grief to be safe too, but not so safe. Not so safe. Alright, Kaiser wins the match, Sanctifier or not, can't win, like, too much anyways. It's double grief, or should I Ragavan? Nah, I should double grief, obviously double grief. I like, I mean, it's kind of funny that the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are like a mix of very epic monsters that are not even possible to properly, wow, what a hand, re, re, like decipher the art of and Mystic Tomatoes and like burger monsters. Yeah, literal Egyptian gods and then Tomato. Tomato, tomato. Oh shit, I had in fire eyes. Magic also has Egyptian gods, but it doesn't have burger monsters. It, I guess it kind of does. There's like food, funny food cards in the new SL drain, so. Yeah, ginger brood, sure. It's literally the same thing, I guess. We have a phone of negation. But now we have one too, so beware. Oops, it's gone. Let's go, Charles Agent. Okay. Double Island, though. Why is that?
I cascade. Do I like Croxa versus Rhinos? Let's say I do. Do I like Shouldred? Let's say I do. Do I like Fatal Push? Let's say I do. We have 64 cards right now. They tend to bring in Endurance, which makes Persist kind of rough, and also the Persist creatures don't attack great. I mean, Troll attacks through Rhinos. I probably don't care to play three Terminates. Maybe play one or two. But I have much removal. Like push terminate sounds good. I think I, I think persists I'll keep for my trolls. Crocs says bad versus endurance, that is true. Maybe I shouldn't. I think Fable is pretty weak too. It costs three mana and it gets swept. Second terminate over one push because of Merktide, you probably probably right. Mam nadzieję, że zaleje. Ojej. It's got more fables because they they don't work with my deck. Like fable tokens weak with explosives. Save on the terminate. Yeah. A ja jestem sucha. Czemu masz suchego karalucha? Jak pięta od chleba. Yeah, good hands this match. By which I mean grief scam both games, so. Let's go, Bell of Summer. Out of Rhinos. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have explosives. Is that the reason to take an endurance or not? I think I'll take Shardless Violent Outburst. Mm, well, I, I mean... No, let's better to take the endurance because I just trade endurance for the onboard grief. That's bad. I, I want the onboard grief to pressure. They have two outbursts. Grief has menace. Yeah, so what? Paid them to Endurance? No, but I think it's worse for me if I get Endurance. So it's not a bait, I just bait self. Is Scam the best modern deck? It seems like it is, yeah. Kinda. We want to trade now? No. Well, if I trade... No, I don't trade. Did the Persis version feel better than normal scam? No, I no, I can't really say it did. Good draw. But the Persis was nice. This this uh, prelim, I had to mulligan away one hand, which was double troll, no lands, and had turn one grief scam otherwise, which was a little bit sad, so hurt us in that game for sure. Also, we summoned an Oliphant, we summoned the Troll, it was okay. Not opposed to playing it again at some point. I can't quite say that it felt better. Is a Mutavolt version real or a meme? I can't tell. I think it's fine to have a Mutavolt or two. I think Flame of Honor is a fi fair card to play regardless, so... Makes sense to me. It seems like not a meme, I guess. Yeah, Prismari Charm is just not playable, and Flame of Honor, when you get to like kill something, draw two, that's, that's awesome, right? For mana, right? You activate the Muta Vault, but it's like an awesome power at that point, so.
Dismember? Okay. Alright, broski. On the other hand, they have endurances in their deck and they cannot currently cast them. So I could see that as being slightly slightly rough for them. Charles agent. Haha, <laughs> my opponent must have missed Charles, lol. I think the Muta Vault is in the second game stone slot. Exactly. This is actually rough. Oh shit. Let's go, Black Leaf Cliffs. It's suspended? I don't think that can be right, but maybe. Monka Giga. <laughs> Mudavolt seems quite real to me right now. It's quite real. Let's go, Black Leaf Cliffs. Mm. Well. <laughs> Impressive. We need Lightning Bolt for Muta Bolt. We have three Terminates. Nakcina Zvauna. Tapped. But we can play Undying Evil again. Well, we still probably will not. I guess you can play one. Four of those, one Undying Evil and one Normal. It's only... Well, I guess you can play two Undying Evils, yeah. Sure. Newest spoiler, kind of interesting design-wise. Show me. The Apple, sure. So interesting, literally making non-artifact effect an artifact. Even though it doesn't particularly make sense for it to be an artifact. Wow. I'm so impressed. I don't know why I responded in such an aggressive manner, but I truly am. I would say four new one, one undying evil and one pain death, sure. Still gonna lose, why? We top decking, right? I don't know if I like chalices in this deck that much. It's Rhinos. Would be good to draw Fable, but I bought them out, which is a bit rough, but Terminate will do too. What do I like? Explosives? Explosives Chalice is also kinda like uh, awkward. A bit, maybe. Alright, now lands are at least a good draw because my fury will be castable at some point. Why we why we poke them with a Griferoni? Should Fatsis first. But they don't have outbursts, it's clear. I I've soul read them. See? Very nice. Very nice. They can count for Apple plus second count for Oven. True. Imagine if opponent had Muta Vault instead of Gemstone Caverns. They did started doing something in my second main phase, which was scary. Outburst, cool. Then what? Yeah, exactly. Then what? Then what? Actually drew the fourth cascade spell, that's crazy. I think it's really not all that crazy, but... Let's see if they sell to me now. For extra lethal would be rough. Or if they drew another violent outburst. Okay, no. 
Horrible cards in your cyber like Cityscape Leveler. Cityscape Leveler is pretty good, I think. Ooh. Aye, aye, aye. Well, we get our Revenge Fury on that Fury, so that's fair, but... In a very witty manner, we dealt one damage to our own Fury. Suspend food falls. The game might not come to that point, broski. Okay. Two cards in hand. Point flooding a little bit. Punish for playing E. Yeah, actually kind of punish. Hmm. Did we see any Murk Tidos? No. Monka Gaiga. Good thing I do not control any planeswalkers. Hey Mr. Streamer, hope you are great. Well, that is up to you to decide if I am great or not. Add streaming, I guess. For example, that's a solid draw. What do we get now? Hmm. Feeling great. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Malice the Voidwalker. Attack them. Just attack. Probably jump block the agent. Or just take six. Both are fine. Opponent is playing Rhinos on their turn. Are we still gonna have Voidwalker? Did I want a 4 for Fury instead? Of a 4 free Voidwalker and new Rhinos from the new Voidwalker? It's gonna force a Chum block. Can I trade? Sure. Kills the Shardless agent. Let's see, my point top deck is a Fury of their own. What else can they draw? Probably Fire Ice is okay too. Let, let them top deck something. Questing Beast forces a trade with a Rhino. One, two, three, four food falls in their graveyards. They can't even cascade anymore. The Endurance. I'll die. If I don't attack with Rhinos, does that change? Yes. I no sack Doffy on his EOT. Because I wanted to cast Rhinos, I have to follow the sorcery speed. Ness of Rhinos. So if I attack the Flash Endurance, then I die. If I don't attack the Flash Endurance, then I don't die. They would have Endurance themselves to put four footfalls in, I think. Probably. Well, the upside is that I die if I, like, attack into that, so... It's kind of like a strong bet. Brazil Borrower, I don't really beat with that attack either. I still die to Brazil Borrower, so it doesn't matter. I think just Endurance comes to mind as a thing that makes a difference. Dismember, maybe? Mm, but then we trade Rhinos. Subtlety we haven't seen in their deck, but... Yeah, okay, we have seen Subtlety in their deck. I mean, I kind of, I kind of beat all the like dead gone salty. I don't beat anyways. Flame of Honor. I think I should attack. I like they had a reason to cast endurance, and maybe they have dead gone, and then they 
bounce the rhino, yeah, then they bounce the rhino, then they're good. Yeah, I don't beat dead gun with an attack, but also, like, if I attack with just this, do I beat dead gun? Not really. Aren't you dead if you attack all against dead gun? I am, yes. Why not question mark? Or I don't know why not what, so I, I won't engage. I don't know, chat. Now I now now the fear has settled in, and now like I'm a little bitch. If I attack with just Fury, they don't even have strong top decks except for Fury in their deck, which then could spiral if I draw the land. But I got an extra creature next turn too. All right, I became a coward. Fuck me, bros. I'm a little bitch. Spend too long on being fearful. Do they have another beast? Not in hand. They would have played the sorcery speed card. Buka is playing now. Alright, saved. Thank dog. We did not die. They top decked something. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Why you live? Undying would be a disaster. It would be a disaster, but the bet was, like, you know, the upside is winning the game, so, you, like, it makes sense to, to hedge for that. Hmm. They did flat, yeah. I mean, I have seven lands in play too, so. I have eight lands, I have seven lands, so. Same thing. Was Madison Game Fury over Doffy good? Yeah, I think so. It's because you said the game wouldn't come down the suspend wood falls, and then it came. Yeah, that's true. I think Madison Game Fury was, was very powerful. I think the matchup is favorable for Rhinos, yeah. We had pretty funny close games. I boarded in a way where I didn't have the fables.